Sorry, Stevie. It finally happened. Steven Gerrard's return to Anfield, trying his best to trip Liverpool as the Reds did enough to get over the line. Just. Still, he would have left Merseyside boosted by his team's performance and another Everton loss. Rivalries aside, we all hope that Victor Lindelof recovers fast after experiencing breathing problems in the win against Norwich City. We will also touch on Chelsea's shaky win, but let's begin with Gerrard's Anfield audition. Who better than a villain? All right, Gogs, um, tell us, how good were Villa against Liverpool? Ever since uh, Stevie G has been here, there's been a renewed interest in players who really want to play. It's the same players. There are no different players playing. So, you know, all of a sudden, all of the players are playing for the manager. I think he's, it's still a honeymoon period for him. So I'll give him another few more games. But yeah, Liverpool uh, game was a test. The City game was a test. Liverpool game was a test too for us, especially of our squad. And I think we came off uh, pretty well. We played to their game plan, which was not attack Liverpool because any team attacking Liverpool, as Arsenal found out, mm -hmm. yep, yep. is detrimental to it. It's a complete nightmare. So we had to play to our strengths, which is, you know, of course, game management, tighten the midfield, crowd out the midfield players, the ball players, the Liverpool ball players, keep the defence tight and try to hit them on the counter. Farids, were you at any point worried Villa could nick a goal and a point? Of course, I'm worried. I'm really worried. Not only me, but all the Liverpool fans. We want three points. We want to win against Villa. Of course, we want to, we want to win the game. We want to challenge for the title. Don't care if uh, Steven Gerrard is handling Villa, but we really want to win that game. It is Anfield. So this is for Liverpool. The game is for Liverpool, not for individual. Are you, are you impressed by what Stevie, Stevie G has done so far at Villa? Well, uh, let me be uh, truthful. I was not a big fan of being Stevie G being appointed because, uh, let me say why also, because uh, Dean Smith is a lifelong Villa fan and he brought Villa up from the championship and everything. And if you're going to get rid of Dean Smith, I think the least you should do is go into, onto the continent and get a manager, a young German manager or a young manager who knows his stuff. Stevie G hits the ticks the box in the young manager part and everything, but you know he's at Rangers where you know I don't I I could manage Rangers and win something if you ask me. <laughs> but you know that's another story. <laughs> hey, well, um... so, uh, uh, no, because the hype was Stevie G, right? It was because he was English, Stevie G, ex Liverpool, and in the, in, and saying that it's going to be a stepping stone for the Liverpool job. So my point is, if two years down the line, and when Klopp leaves, is it three years or two years? I'm not sure of the contract. Yeah. Klopp has and when he leaves and what are Villa doing really well with uh, Gerard? does he leave to Liverpool well, he will definitely right so that, that is my point but I like to see what he's doing at Villa right now I'm, I hope I'm wrong I am hope to be proven wrong you know I just hope that uh, tactically he's shown that he knows what he's doing so let's see so the million dollar question did Steven Gerrard look like a future Liverpool manager uh, maybe someday but at this time, I think Klopp is much more better uh, because he's doing a great job in Liverpool. Uh, but Steven Gerrard uh, is still too early. Yes, he won a title with Rangers, but this is a different uh, competition. That is, a, that is a Scottish Premiership. This is English Premier League. So we'd like to see if Gerrard can build something from Aston Villa. Maybe he could win uh, something, a silverware, a silverware for Aston Villa, maybe. Yeah, consider in the future. If Klopp leaves, then Steven Gerrard will be the best candidate. And what do you say, Goggs? I think I think he, he's ticking the right boxes. To be fair, what he did at, at, at the COP was very, very good. Because, you know, if you remember where a few years back when Gerrard Hulier came down, he immediately went to the COP and saluted them before going to the Villa fans. But, you know, Gerrard didn't even look at the fans at the COP. He went straight to the Villa fans, saluted them and everything and didn't let the, didn't let the occasion get to him. He knew what he was there for. And this was, but yes, he, he should be a future man, England, uh, uh, Liverpool manager and an England manager if he plays his cards right. Let's get, mm -hmm. and, and to be fair, Villa is a good team for him to test his managerial credibility there because they are a great side. They have good English players also. The bedrock of the team is English. So, yeah. All right, and, uh, let's, see how, let's see how he does against the continental managers. And this is the best chance for him to prove it. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think also, you know, it's, it's, it's a long process. You know, he's not going to get everything right away. It's his first time in the Premier League. So, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what, what he can do with Villa in the, in the coming years. 
a lot of Liverpool fans are. We all suddenly got Liverpool fans supporting Villa. <laughs> Farid, given a choice, Klopp for life or Gerrard to replace Klopp? Give us a quick answer. I think uh, for now, Jurgen Klopp uh, is the right man to bring Liverpool. Not Steven Gerrard, not yet. It is still too early. So because uh, he needs more time, Steven Gerrard needs more experience in Premier League uh, to prove himself that he can manage a small team. Then he can bring up, at least bring Aston Villa to Europe, back to Europe, maybe a Champions League spot or maybe a Europa League spot. Uh, then maybe yeah, we can consider him. Chelsea letting another two goals against Leeds. That's five in two matches now, and quite unlike the Blues. What's happened to their famous airtight defence? Let's. Uh, I was saying the other day to certain, uh, some of my friends that you know every team goes through a blip regardless. But you know Chelsea, City, Liverpool are the main challenges this season. There's no two ways about it. I, I, I don't. So they all have a blip. Chelsea's blip is now, but they're still overcoming it. They're still gritting through the thing. And to see Lukaku coming back and all that, you got players coming back. And with Timo Werner, if he gets on the start scoring again, you have a team that. Will will be challenging the top three. That the top three are as as set in stone, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. You know, with the City, the Chelsea, and Liverpool. And and if you ask me right now, the team with the momentum is Liverpool. Of course, the way they're playing, they're still grinding out results. They're still keeping a clean sheet. You know, so they are the team with the momentum. So Chelsea are the team to watch because they have a very very intelligent manager. So they go through a blip, yes, but they're still pulling through. When well, you know there are blips, teams will go through blips. I rather Chelsea would rather have the blip now than the, the Christmas or the January period. How about you, Farid? Probably tiredness because of many games that all the Chelsea players have to have to play, and the lack of fitness and for the international duties and for the many games in Premier League because December is a very tight schedule, you know. Besides Boxing Day, this is the moment with all the teams of Premier League to test themselves. About their fitness and uh, test for risking for to avoid any injuries during the time. I hope they can lose a game again, drop point, drop points, and Liverpool can take the advantage to win the to win the remaining games and be top table before Christmas and keep on top table until May won the title. Yeah, um, and do you think that's the top three sorted out? Uh, so now it's just a few teams out there fighting for fourth spot? Yeah, for me, that's the top three sorted out. I don't see uh, the teams coming into the play. And I don't think, even if they drop, they're not going to drop that many points. If I look at the form of play the teams are playing right now, I mean, you could say, I, I don't think, you, I could ask you the same thing. And I don't think if, any, if there's an outside chance, a Ragnick and United maybe, but you know, that's going to be a hard sell. There we have it from a Villa and a Liverpool fan. Gogs. Thinks Gerard is still in his honeymoon period, but time will tell for what he can do for Villa. Meanwhile, Farid thinks Klopp is still the man for the job at the moment, but Gerard is one for the future. We've got another round of midweek fixtures coming up and more EPL action over the weekend. Will the league table still look the same this time next week? Fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Your Football Mad Tribe will return next week. Engage with us on our social media platforms to stand a chance of appearing on What's Kicking. Do check out our topic of choice after the next match day. See you in the next episode.